Welcome to Panic Eats. Today we're going to make chickpea tacos. A very delicious taco. Super excited to share it with you. Is this thing on? Am I coming through the airwaves? Summer's coming up. These are a great light guilt-free taco and we're going to dive right into it. So stick around, hit that like button if you're stoked for tacos and let's go. We're going to heat up some oil. We're going to start off making the cabbage and carrot, right? So for your cabbage and carrot, we're going to use purple cabbage, red cabbage, purple red cabbage. We're not going to make that many tacos. We're going to make a couple cuts into this. Set the rest aside, okay? We're going to take that. We're going to peel off this funky layer. And then we're not left with much. I'm gonna chop off a couple more cabbage. A couple more cabbage. And we're just gonna get this down real fine. Real nice. So we got some delicious chopped down veg. Take your veg bowl, right? This taco's got a lot of veg, vegetables, vegetables. What I like to do with my slaw, or this is, this is replacing lettuce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grade down some carrot. Get the right ratio. So we got our carrot in there. Making a mess. And just give it a toss. Get your hands in there. So you got a good mix of your carrot and cabbage. Get a little bit of your S&P 500 or your salt and pepper. Give it a little pepper. Give it a little oil. Give it a little toss. We got that nice, I don't know, we're gonna call this a slaw. We're gonna check on the temperature of our oil here for our tortillas. It's about 350 degrees. We're gonna take, we're gonna use flour tortillas for this one. I like to take the tortilla one at a time, slowly drop it in, right? Once your taco shell's got some good color, pull it out. While it's still hot, you're gonna to wanna to fold it over. I don't know if you can see that over there. You're gonna to wanna to just fold it over with your tongs. It's gonna create your shape, right? We're gonna do this a couple more times. Boo -boo. Taco shells, right? A little smell-o-vision. How's that looking? How's that looking to everybody? Crispy, crunchity, delicious. Listen to this. It's a good time. So I got these cherry tomatoes. We're gonna cut these in half. I like, if you've noticed a lot in this channel, I like using the smaller tomatoes. It totally beats cutting down big tomatoes. And it's just like the perfect little shape and size uh, for topping, for snacky snacks, crunchy crunch, munchy munch. I usually don't go more than just cutting them in half. We're gonna take an onion. Cut off a good slice of that onion. Get off the big nasties. Cut it down. Now I know there's a lot of, whatever, naysayers and elitists on this is how you cut that and this is how you do this. I'm a firm believer in uh, doing whatever you want. And if you can achieve your desired results by doing it the way that you like to do it, well then that's the way that you should do it. So we got our roughly diced onion. Just gonna beat it down some more and we're gonna put that in with the tomato. All right, <laughs> next. 
just salt. Just salt on that. And then give it a toss. Is that good? So we've got slaw. We've got tomato onion. We've got taco shells. So we're gonna take an avocado for the third installment of our taco toppings. Have to cut this bad chicken in half. Give it a twist. Give it a shout and another twist. And another shout. Twist and shout, baby. Cut down your avocado. Because we kind of make like a rough uh, guac. Avocados in Alaska are really hard to come by. And they are very expensive. Weird flex, but okay. We got an avocado. That's where I like to take the garlic. However you acquire your garlic, just make sure that it's minced down. Take your avocado. Get all that goodness out. Hit it with that salt. And that pepper. And then I take fork and I just start mashing. So you got your garlic guac, right? Delicioso. After that, we're gonna spaz out. Think about the only thing left to do is get our pan going again. Give your bottle, if you ever picked up one of these, I got a link in the description. It's affiliate link, Amazon affiliate link. This is a great bottle. You can pre-measure out your oil. We're using avocado oil on this video. We're gonna use about a tablespoon back in the pan. We're gonna let that heat up. And on those Amazon affiliate links, I do gain a small commission. I've never sold anything, so I don't know how it works. Uh, it probably would do me some good for the channel. If you don't wanna support the channel through any of the affiliate links below this video, best thing that you can do is hit that like button Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time coming across it and leave a comment in the section in the comment section in the section of comments and And then you've done your part. You've done the best thing that you could ever do for me. This is a small channel. We're growing I'm weird. I'm awkward. I'm fun and I make good food. So We got uh, chickpeas garbanzo beans depending on where you are, right? We're gonna take just basic Taco, pre-made seasoning. This doesn't need to be anything extravagant. Season up your beans. Drop in some more oil. Just to help with the process. Give that a good mix. Till all your beans are nice and coated with that taco seasoning. And what's great about these is that once you've done all your prep for your toppings, all you're really doing is just heating up these beans. Kind of getting them a little crispy, you know? Let those beans dance around in the pan for a little bit and they'll start getting more and more golden. Like to let those go for a second. You know what? I'm gonna do something cool. So say you were having a party and you wanted to feed a bunch of people these delicious chickpea tacos. And you wanted to give a nice presentation, right? A little presentation. Grab a sheet pan. Get some cilantro. And you can do this kind of like how I'm doing it while your chickpeas are heating up. A 
Got the cilantro, right? For the little bit of added extravaganza to your taco. Take some of that cilantro. Just kind of put it on the sheet pan. Right? We got our little pan right there, pan of love. Chickpeas, nice and hot. They're popping. Probably a good time to stop them. All right, we got your hot chickpeas. Just gonna let those chill out. We're gonna take our tacos, line them up. Right? Beautiful. Got taco shells, chickpeas, garbanzos. What about a tablespoon? An all natural tablespoon. Maybe a little more if your if your shell's a little bit bigger. Go in with that slaw. Cabbage carrot. My ideal situation for doing this would be like everyone's in the backyard, sipping on whatever they want to drink. It's nice out. It's not snowing in the middle of April. Sun's out. Tomato and onion. The sun's out. Everyone's playing. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's enjoying spending time with each other. No complaints. Maybe maybe there's some meats on, on a smoker, smoking, smoking meats, you know. And I just like to take a little a little kiss. A little kiss of that uh Walk. Then, and then get some of that flaky salt. Make it rain a little bit, right? Grab your cilantro. And you got some fire tacos. And we got some delicious tacos here, folks. You come out to the backyard barbecue with a tray of these, it's game over. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Leave me a comment. What would you like to see? What, 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 what should I be making? I'm gonna mow down on some tacos and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.